late! We are not going to be late! There you go. <laughs> Here's one of Hannah's. Her email's on the back. If you ever want to support an up-and-coming female cartoonist, Hannah's the person you should hit up. This is really good. Oh, and these updates online. I like that one. Thanks. <laughs> you finally got to meet him. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yup. Hey, is this one supposed to look like my sister? What? No. D does she? A little. I'll see you. When the heroes reach the feast, they realise it's like none they have ever attended before. Covering the table lies piles and piles of meat. Raw steaks, sheep intestines, and pigs sliced along their backs. <laughs> no. Then he looks the knight dead in the eyes and raises a glass. To our new guests and to the queen who gave us life. The knight politely nods, but pauses before drinking. She has seen something. She puts her water down and reaches towards one of the pieces of meat on the table, a piece of flesh. She starts to pull at it, dragging it out from underneath raw mince and uncooked sausages. With one final tug, she pulls it out, revealing exactly what she had feared. What? It wasn't an animal. But a human arm! No, no, no. Not a human arm! It is a human arm! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think other people do when they hang out? Like Rose and, you know, Gil and stuff? Probably get shit faced and throw up. Yeah, probably. They always talk about them at school, like parties. It would be interesting to actually see one in real life, I guess. Mm. That sounds so boring. Oh no, you guys aren't being boring, are you? <sighs> Can I grab you for a minute, Hannah? I'm going out now. With Martin. Did you want to talk about anything? No. Martin mentioned you didn't go to counselling yesterday. I know you're feeling better this week. I'm really proud of you that you're back at school. But to avoid a relapse, I think you should see a counsellor about things. I can get you in tomorrow morning at quarter past eight, if that's okay for you. Yep. Cool, I'll do that. What are you doing? It's the same for all her accounts. What are you looking for? So, Dad hasn't contacted me, right? But if he's overseas, then he can't text me, and he doesn't know I have an email account. Okay. I reckon he's been in contact with Mum and she's hiding it from me. Why? Because of Martin. He's taking advantage of the situation. He doesn't want my dad to come back, so he's manipulated Mum to think the same thing, so that if my dad tries to get in contact, she'll hide it from me so that I think he's gone for good, so that I think her dating Martin is in some way sane. Right. Click on that one. That's not from Dad, that's from Martin. But this email chain goes on forever. When did your dad leave? Last month. They've been chatting since May. Look, that can't be right. Unless... Unless he's been planning this all along. Planning? Unless he's the reason my dad left. 
He's been manipulating Mum since May to make her think she loves him, forced my dad to leave, and now they're trying to get me to go to counselling and play along like everything's fine. He's a mastermind. Sorry, what was that? Whatever. No one else seems to care either. N no, I do care. Here, look. So, he's been manipulating Mum. Maybe that wouldn't be so hard. But how to get rid of Dad? Did he threaten him? Was it blackmail? 